exactly what I thought, sir. I'll give you promotion for this. Come with us. Oh, oh, oh. Don't bite off the money. Yes. Go on, look at him closely. Look at what you call your leader, you flock of ignorant sheep. He's a mouse. A cowardly, nearsighted mouse who sits in his house all day and reads books. Go on, next. Hurry up. We can't spend all night paying our last disrespect. We can. <laughs> I have a wife and children. Two. That's right. Fear his face and forget it. Because from now on, all you people of Morelos, you will have a real father of your country. El grande general Uparte. And he will defend you from your enemies because he's a brave soldier and a powerful man. This is a bad thing, then. Because when a leader is too powerful, the people become weak. Spit in his face. No, Lieutenant. I will not defile him. You will spit or be shot. I have no wish to die. But as you force me to pick, I will die with honor. Is there anyone else with honor? Please forgive me, Don Firmino. <laughs> <laughs> the right way to water a mouth. The right way would be for you to wash his feet. Since this is your last supper, Lieutenant. Oh, oh my goodness. Who's that? I don't know, but he must be the hero. Well, untie them. What's the matter with you? Haven't you ever seen a hero with a pigeon? Are you all right? We're so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. How do you feel? Is this your signature, Don Firmino? There was nothing we could do. He would have shot us if we had I'd like to do some mining here in Morelos. Are these prospecting rights still valid? Sorry. I can't help you. I am no longer the president around here. Or rather, although legally I'm still the president, officially I'm not. And the official president? <laughs> Ubarte. General Ubarte commands the revolutionary forces. As to what you get from him... In you, senor. I people see a godsend hero. I'm only human. To lead the counter-revolution, senor. And overthrow this Ubarte. You mean go to war? <laughs> I couldn't. I'm a conscientious objector. Can you tell me how I can locate this General Ubarte? Some petitions for you. Peone is asking for justice. They accuse your soldiers of murder, looting, rape, setting fire to whole villages. Have them all shot. Yes, sir, I want the Peones, naturally. I won't put up with such unfair ingratitude. It's the soldiers liberated them from the evils of democracy and disorder, didn't they? Amen. Well, get on with it, Colonel Matadores. What else? Capitan Fiesta, take a Fiesta. Here's a new decree. Mm -hmm. In practice, it orders the people to love Big Daddy. <laughs> you know, Sam, there are times when your cynicism frightens me. And do you know why, Sam? Because it almost surpasses my own. I need more workers for the mine. Sign this order for me. I've got to get back. Another 300 men. Sam, you're decimating Morelos. I gave you 200 men just last week. I hopped down there like flies. It's very tough work. But what really counts are the results, right, President? Naturally, the results. And above all, secrecy, dear Sam. Don't forget that. And also, don't forget that our crazy dreamer, Don Firmino, is unfortunately still free. You do better to worry about Juana. She's more poisonous than a hundred of her husband. However, you set an example. Another? Don Jaime. He's a real hothead. And he's refused the offer you extended. He's outside. Sam, I do believe you're my evil conscience. Show the traitor in. Colonel, the president will see Don Jaime now. I'm glad to see you. 
My dear Don Heine, although I should be a little angry with you if what people tell me is true. Um, is it true you don't want to resume your former minister's post in the new government? I regret to say, General, that President Don Heine... President? Yes. Our president is lawfully Don Fermino Mendoza, General. He was elected by the people and I have sworn loyalty to him. And for a little promise, you desert your country? General Lobarte in. It was a recent event that seems to have expired. If you would kindly renew it for me, please. No. I took over this country in the name of the people. I don't intend to see it looted by Yankees. But don't let it upset you. Confidentially, there's no gold in our mountains. Our land is a nightmare of poverty. Hot sun and stone. This gold is only a legend. A dream to escape the nightmare. <laughs> Thanks for the confidential advice, General. I'll see you around. Uh, just a moment. If you're low on funds, I can always use a man's special skills. In Morelos, the seat of power, can get somewhat hot. I still have a little cigar money. But I'll think it over. Of course, I don't smoke much, so it could take a while. Excuse me, my great president. Don Fermino has escaped the roundup, and they have massacred the entire search detail. They did? Who? A gringo, my great president. His name is Ernst. Uh, it's the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost? Stop that man with the white cape on. you realize there isn't anything personal in it. Not so far. I needed Don Fermino Mendoza for those prospecting rights, that was all. Mm. I must admit I'm a great judge of men. I'll give you my offer again, and you can name your price. Let me think about it. <laughs> well, have you decided? you, Papa? Here, my dear. Down here. I was just telling good old Esteban that my heart will remain here in Morelos. Your heart is coming with us to the United States. Now take your medicine or you won't have a heart left to talk about. But, Signore, you go. Who, who will tell the people what to do? I will, Esteban. Hmm? I'm coming back to begin the revolution. Hey, she's truly her mother's daughter, see. The Lord bless her soul. Your wife can shoot in speech as well as most men. <laughs> she's truly a wonderful lady. I'm going to prepare the horses. Thank you, Esteban. You have to get over the border before nightfall. The revolution. Come, my child. You're not being realistic. How on earth are you going to do it? The army's turned traitor, half our supporters are dead, and the people here are frightened out of the wits of Ubarte. Papa, they'll fight if we can provide them the inspiration. And I know what kind. If you join a revolution, dear, you've either got to be an idealist or local. And in my opinion, your prince in white is neither one nor the other. Don Firmino, the soldiers! Hold! Guard! Dismount! You watch the horses. Get Around the building, quickly! Good morning, senores. What might be your pleasure? Don Firmino Mendoza. 
I am willing to pay for the pleasure. And plenty. Can you hear anything, Juan? Shh, quiet, Papa. They're right above us. Don't worry. It's Steve and Chris. Of course not. I have known him since the two of us were students fighting side by side in the streets. There's not a chance he'll betray us. He has the pride and courage of a lion. Don't dare, Captain. But... Go on. But I had nothing to do with it, eh? I didn't say anything. Sure, sure, I understand. Why should I lay my life to offload for someone who deserts the battle? You make a wonderful soldier. But you're really not interested in the gold, eh? No, senor. I feel bad enough as it is. Muchas gracias. I need it more than you anyway. Bring them up here! Set the table for two, please. No. You killed the innkeeper, so now you'll have to bring us lunch. Excuse me, I am... Um, I don't believe I understood you correctly, gringo. Well, I haven't ordered yet. <clears throat> now then, a uh, large bowl of chili for me, and uh, she'd like some coin. She'd like so. You're putting me on. It's for Eagle. Eagle? <laughs> now I know you're putting me on. That's no Eagle. Only she's convinced that she is. You know what, Gringo? You'll be getting a belly full of lead for lunch. Now what you say? That you wouldn't get half a star in my tourist guide. The service you give here is the lousiest we ever had. Well, I'm sorry, Gringo. But I rate three stars from Ubar for carrying out executions. And over your gun. Would you keep her for me, please? But... But how in the world can you let her have a key like this without... Peter twice a day. Uh, I'll take him over to the wall. No, Captain, you you must. He's a foreign citizen, and there are a number of international conventions protecting oh, his rights. Bullshit! You stuffed our heads with all that crap for six long years, and no one ever did respect it. Now, wait a second. You've got it all wrong here. It's all backwards. Place. That's what I mean. This isn't my place. If the sun's up there, I can't stand here. Get your mouth shut. Look here, fellas. This is hardly my first execution. I'm telling you, this way is going to turn out awfully messy. What's going on there? I was just trying to explain that they won't be able to hit me with the sun in their eyes. Yes, yes. Thank you. All right. Change places with the prisoner quickly. Otherwise, we'll be here till nightfall. There we are. So, is everything to your satisfaction now, Grigo? Yes, perfect, thanks. It's going to be a lovely execution. Uh, how many are we? Ten, including you. Ten take away nine leaves one, am I right? Right, but we are staying, the nine of us, and you are leaving. That's logical. <clears throat> well, I'm at your disposal. Are we going to proceed? Sure, I just thought we'd all enjoy the suspense for a second. Prepare for execution! Attention! Low drivers! Ready, aim! Hey, 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 Oh, just think of it, Papi Cito. Think of the people who flock to our side if he's with us. Oh, we must. We must have you. What is this? Are you starting up a circus? No, for the revolution. Well, you must have changed your mind about him. Otherwise, you would not have come back to save my father. I'm sorry to have to disillusion you, miss. But had your father been shot, he wouldn't have been able to answer certain questions I asked. Ah, well, that couldn't be more true, eh? At your service, sir. I found it a waste of time to try and do things legally here. Now, renewal or not, I want to start finding my goal. Then do? Then do hell. The location was written right here. I have no idea where it is. You have no idea where your own mine is? Well, originally the mine wasn't mine. And I got it off, uh, off a man who was called a Pennyweather. Was called? What exactly does that mean, may I ask? It was the bullet that killed Pennyweather which made his hole. And I was standing precisely where you are. He was one of those fellows who cheated poker. A lose anyhow and then go and try to put a slug in you. Now then, if you'll just tell me where my gold mine is, please. Uh, wait a minute. 
I ought to know. It's, why, yes, it was so extraordinary that somebody should be looking for gold in the rails. Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Now, now, where? Don't be in such a big hurry. I think he's mad at Betsy's gosh. For example, first he might tell us if he's going to help us or not. From here in Morelos, we have a saying that each hand washes the other. We've also got a saying, if trust gets you a penny, distrust will get you a million. It's your choice. I think by the time you won our revolution for us, Papa will have remembered where the gold is. It sure is an expensive little country to shop in. No thanks, I'd be better off finding Mr. Crow. And who is Mr. Crow? The other owner of the mine. It's written right here. Oh. Good night, my dove. Oh, Samuel Crow. Well, he's right. Why should he get involved? In Please, you're the best there is. The only one. Well, yes, I must admit. Anyway, I would like to help you. Oh, really? Where were you thinking of taking your papa? El Paso. Here he's too dangerous now. He should be safe across the border, though. Well, you have no problem, then. El Paso is a mercenary's paradise, man. I'll raise you another 50. A house, eh? Another 300. About your 300 and another 50 for chicken. Mm, nah. What's got? Hey, did you hear, brother? He's calling, put in the money. Look at here, chicken little. Ways of Lord, I know we're infinite, but this will be the first time they ever come along this way. Well, hey, I call you. I'll be there. You said it would cost us around 5000 to fix up the church. Yeah, I did. And we only got one. Well, we did have. Give me the can. What is this, some kid's coin collection? What's this? If someone lost a, a button, <laughs> you got to learn the finer points of life, Jonah. Believe me, it's the only way to get her five thousand. What is this? You scared or something? Why, boy? Yeah, Charlie's a creep in the night. And go boom. Now three hundred high. Now twenty and twenty are forty. Forty-one, two, three, forty-six, forty-eight. That's your doing. The root of evil. This will blast you right on through the ceiling. Three knuckleheads. Yeah, sure are a sight to see. Only I got a perfect hand. Three little big men courting two squalls. Our church. It didn't happen. Now, brother, when I give you the signal, take up a collection and get <laughs> the money. Take it and don't wait around for me. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't funny. Let him down. Huh? Why, oh, sure. Glad to oblige. You are a bad sport. I never said I wasn't. Collection time. <laughs> you know, you all committed one hell of a sin cheating like that. You ought to be ashamed. <laughs> Oh my God, the liquor has gone to my hands. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that good now, man. <laughs> He's so powerful. Ah, I'd like to buy him. He knows how to do it. Yeah. Huh? It's up to you, old Lord. I mean, everybody we catch sneaking around here, uh, we just naturally have to get rid of them, you understand? But your lambs are slaughtered as you see fit. Amen. 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 That Lord must be up already here. What are you here for? Supplies or something else? Depends. I'm Samuel Crow. Hey, Bird, come here. What the hell's going on? This here Jasper's looking for our brother. Is he now? Well, we can answer for him. You a friend of his? Much more. Samuel is my associate. An associate? In what field? 
Mineral? Hmm, why, what a surprise. Oh, for me or Samuel? Uh, you, mister, no doubt about it. Uh, come and eat with us. Ain't much, but you like it. <laughs> there. Mm, that's quite an aroma. Oh, is that all the praise you can give my cooking? Well, I must confess, up to now, my only experience with this has been to step in. <laughs> so let's be serious, man. Uh, oh, we're serious. You see, we always keep a batch of this recipe handy for troublemakers. It was only the dunk of it. A special blend of selected poo-poo of mule. Hmm, well, I imagine you'll never have to worry about running out of the basic uh, ingredients with four of you. I'm going to let you lick out the pot. I'd get one more crack out of you. But on the other hand, you can avoid this meal if you want to. No fooling. And how'd that be? You're a pitiful liar. Tell us just who in the hell you are. Because you sure ain't Max Pennyweather. But I... I never said I was, as I recall. Let's try to be serious again, hmm? Now, where do I find Samuel? I'm asking the questions around here. Yeah, we'll try making him a bit more intelligent. Ah! Oh! 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 You fellas could use some hospitality lessons. Yeah. Now then, pass me that rope there, would you, Ollie? Yeah. Oh, don't make those faces. Of course you can have some more, but you might tell me where Samuel is first. Huh? All right, let's begin with Bird again. Here's Samuel's second. Since he's not here, it's only proper you get first call on second helping. Isn't that right? Now, don't be you to Tell me where he is. You ain't making any of us crows talk. We keep our business in the family. Mister, you ain't related. Yes, I know it's true. We're not kissing cousins. Neither was the late Max Pennyweather. But still and all, he was your associate. And that's there. I... Sam's being held on the orders of General Ubarty. And he says if we make a move to get Sam out, he'll have him killed. It's true. Go and ask the others. Yes, Chris Martin. I swear to my great. Yeah, I get the point. I get the point. Uh, tell me, um, do you by any chance know what our friend, the good General Rubarti, is doing or wants with Sam? I bet you'll tell me you have no idea. Yeah. yeah. Well, the citizens of El Paso spend all right. Yeah, whiskey and gambling and women. But on the church... Oh, my Lord, do you know the blood, sweat, and tears that I shed to get these folks to part with as much as a, a button? No good sons of big, big pioneers. Yes, you have my sympathy. This could help by you and Oregon. No, no, I could never. It's too much value. Buy a big one, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? If you really insist, well, I never accept it for myself, naturally, but, well, a church without an organ would be as solemn as a mortuary. What the hell? Good Lord, what's going on? Now, what's a Lubarte lieutenant doing here? He's come, the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, Holy Christ. Don't get flustered, Reverend. She was only talking about me. Surprise. I've changed my mind about your revolution. Wonderful. We're going to... We're going home today, Papa. Now we have the two most fierce, the two toughest, the two... Kids. No, one. Unless you mean ego. No, I mean the other Yankee. A huge bull of a man. He's so strong, he, he can pick up... Who, man? And he's a true idealist. He's coming to help us without charging a cent. What do you think of that? It's nice. The man's name? Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> of course it's a misunderstanding, Eagle. Don't you worry. Are you uh, talking about Chicken Little, the gunman? About Chicken, the dynamite artist? Chicken, the expert at handling other people's money? That chicken is no more, sir. <sighs> I was coming around to that. Well, no more as far as sin is concerned. They are about to hang him only. The good brother Johnny uh, saved him, converted him, and welcomed him into the church. A real miracle. Uh, if you only knew the zeal with which he labors for the church. As you can see, we don't have any pews, but Brother Chicken is out finding the, the wherewithal to buy them for us. Is he finding this wherewithal at the point of a gun? Chicken is through with brother. He's down at the saloon setting a fight with a strong man tonight called... Uh, John Colby. Yeah. And the second he's won, he's coming to Morales with us. Well, what's wrong? Are you withdrawing? No, no, whatever you want. Now, could we possibly discuss my own contract? Oh, it's very easy. You see to it that Ubarte's reign in. And Papa will see to it that you get your mind. I agree? That's all there is to it. But, my dear, I really oh, have... Papa, no... it's getting late. Don't forget your interview with the governor. 
Oh, good heavens, you're absolutely right. Do forgive me. I must go. We'll all have a meeting later. Okay. Uh, you're leaving there? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, she, uh, I mean, good Lord. His presence could be embarrassing to my flock. <laughs> You're unbelievable, Papa. I mean, really, I go to all these But I convince. absolutely cannot remember the location of that mine. Now, you're deceiving him, dear. That's not honest. Don't be so pious. Neither is he. What's out there, anyway? The city dump? Of course. The Undertaker's backyard. That old sinner's always so drunk, one body more or less won't make any difference. Boxed and ready to go. Tell me, how much will this match earn, chicken, if he wins? Two hundred dollars. And if he doesn't? Fifty. But you'll never get pews for that. Couldn't even buy the basic planking you'd need. And we could have at least twenty pews and at ten dollars each, well, figure. Figure two hundred dollars, yeah. yeah. You see. Here they are. <coughs> uh what do you know? Here's another two hundred. What is that for? Uh, well, to buy like a bell. Coming in, I noticed you haven't any. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. It's simply marvelous what you're doing for us. <laughs> One good turn deserves another, according to the Bible. Hmm? Though not always equally marvelous. If Chicken loses the fight, the money's yours. My dear sir, are you trying to buy, buy a man of God? Why, I wouldn't think of it, brother. Hmm? How do you mean I should go easy on him, brother? Why shoot? I'll tear him. Hold on, look. That's a fellow Christian there. And the Lord says, do not smile to your fellow Christian. Yeah, but he told hey, you. Chicken, you're twice as powerful as he is. You could kill him with one punch, and that's no different than murder. You'd be saying I should lose a fight in a minute. Yes. No, well, this morning, this kid, me all dressed in white, and said, my son, don't let poor Chicken go out there and murder his fellow man. For cash, no less. If anything, for pews for the church. And besides, have you thought about them? Oh, you know dang well who I mean. Right, you said right. the Lord. The Lord wants it. Well, great, I want the same as him. But how the hell am I going to go liberate that poor, oppressed country if that ugly bear there pals me into the ground like a fence? Don't, don't, don't fret, chicken. Kobe's going to treat you like a like newborn baby. Like, you know, it's all fixed. You just lose. We're starting. Let's have a big round of applause. In this corner over here, I present the champion. The strongest man in the entire United States. Kobe the Bull. And in the other corner, you have the challenger, Mitchum Little. Sure. Why down? What in heaven's name made you drag me here? It's, it's amazing the strength he's got. You simply must see it. Okay, boys, both of you come out here and come on, come on. And shake hands with your opponent. Shake hell, I'll shove it down his rotten throat. Hey, okay. Now, boys, look, I'm in a clean fight, you hear? Let's not have any low blows. Nothing but straight punches. I don't want to see any gouging or any kicking. And nothing in the line of weapons. No shooting, no dynamite, and no horseshoes. Got it? I want you two to fight like gentlemen with your hands, and that's all. Now, is that absolutely clear? Because the leader of you think you can cool me, you've got another thing coming. And one last thing. One of you is down, the other starts kicking you, and you know who I was qualifying. Now, at the sound of a triangle, you're both to come out fighting. raise a fist in a fellow man, but I'll go easy on him. <laughs> I thought you said it was fixed. Get up! Get up! Look, right up. Well, that punch was a real one. <laughs> yeah, you were right, my dear. He does know how to wallop a man. No, Papa. Chicken is the other one. One, two, Where the hell do you think you're going? Get your corner against Sam Cowden. Three... Four, five, nine. Now look here, folks. I want to talk to you. Will you hold still? Now listen, I, I said I want to talk. Are you dead? Listen, you. You ease up a little. Or I might just go and lose my temper. I know it's got to look good since the fight's fixed. Well, you're hitting for real. It's my face that's got to take it. <laughs> just one quiet. Get him, Kobe! Get him, you swag! Get him! Get him! What? Ah, 
call him sorry, Papa, but he's going to be knocked out. Yeah, maybe worse than that. Mm, poor thing, I can see him now hobbling through your revolution on crutches. A slob that couldn't knock his way out of a hot tamale. What do you want him for? Let <laughs> like him begin to try our patience. Now I'm going to hit you in a minute. Over the belly. <laughs> Yeah. What are you doing here? I came to see the fight. And since you're losing, I'll cheer for you. You son of a... Look at that unholy son of Satan. You see, you remind me of all my old sins. Now, what a thing to say. Whoa, it's him you're fighting, Chicken, not me. Oh, hold on a second. Listen, you. Don't interrupt when I'm talking to somebody. You hear? Don't go away now. I'll get to you in a moment. <laughs> I'll kill him! I'll kill him! Hey, you hear that? Eagle's as happy as I am to see you again. Happy, you're a dirty liar. You and your painted crow. Oh, I'm so pleased you already know each other. Chicken, you know what? This man is going with us. Oh, no. Yes. Now, there's no way you can convince me, Harold, that you shed your life of sin. Oh, we must admit you are right. The truth is... Uh, Chicken, how is it you're doing so poorly tonight? I'll bust you! The Lord says you shouldn't beat on your fellow brother. Noble creed. However, the fact of it is, you're not the chicken you used to be. Hi, you <laughs> son of a... Second row! <laughs> Go after him, boy. Go after him. Why don't you draw in the tunnels? Yeah. You shall, huh? All right, Kobe, pinch him. Yeah. What kind of money is Harold getting for going along? No money. He just wants to look for a mine there. A mine, huh? A gold mine. A gold mine? A gold mine? Ah! The game is over now. Hey, I'm ready. I'll kill you. Whatever possessed God to endow women with tongues? I never told him that the one that fixed the match was you. Who, me? Why should I fix it? I really think it's silly to be so protective about your gold. <laughs> What the hell? Put that back. Let go, will you? Let go. I'll decide when the round's over. I'm out of here. One, two, and three. Bravo! He's coming along. No matter what you want, he's still with ten men. More like six. All right, who's the joke? Real fun. You son of a bitch, what a play, eh? I'll stuff that basket right up your ass. Yeehaw! Got you to the ER, man. Brothers, well, take it easy. After all, somebody had to lose, didn't they? Get back to your seat. I'll talk to you, Bench, a minute. I'll do. There you go, it's all yours. Thank, Thank you, you. ma'am. I give up. Calm down. Go on my benches. Why don't you get on home? Run my benches. Get on home, Holly. Get out of here. Stop it. Stop it. Wait, take the mortgage on your face. It's wonderful to watch, but I'd rather not. Come on. Vamos, papá. Come on. Get out of the way. 
Keep moving. They killed my ear. Hey, Bill. The show is all over. That's that. <laughs> help! Help! The new thing on help! They're trying to beat their burners! What do you mean? Help! 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 I have to get him back. Get him back. Out of the way. You're going to pay for this? Wait. Let me buy, honey. Hey, Nick, wait there. Wait. Nick, where you ran, little. Bull, look. There was a lady present, you know. Lady Schmidt. See, Uncle? Uncle. Come up, quick. Anybody killed or hurt? Yep. All of you. Well, welcome back. Is everything all right? Yes, yes, I believe so. But are you hurt? No, no. Those were about the soldiers. Apparently, I'm not even safe here in El Paso. Yes, our friend is becoming rather uncivilized. In which case, I think it's high time the general were uh, taught a little diplomacy. <laughs> Did you search in there thoroughly? Yes, sir. Me great and half. Hmm? How stupid of me. I meet my great president. He has no weapon and says he has come as an emissary. Hmm. This way. Go on. <clears throat> what do you want, hombre? I've come to declare war on you, senor. <laughs> <laughs> but this idea is not mine, senor. I am the emissary of Don Firmino Mendoza. <laughs> Idiots! I need a pack of fools. Don Firmino doesn't enter into this. We've just had a declaration of war from the Holy Ghost. Yeah, Morelos. Hallelujah. I feel like Moses, standing before the promised land. How do you mean, who? Hmm? Hmm? Simple as that. Hmm. 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 I shall wield the sword of justice in the name of our Lord and Savior, and the forces of evil shall crumble. Brother Jacob. Yes, my son? Try keeping your eyes open more and clucking less. Uh, you disciple of Satan, selling yourself out of lust for gold. You can't believe I've been fully converted, can you? No, oh, I can't. Can you? You murdering Greek of Asaro! You must throw Wait a minute, Wana. <laughs> Look at this, girl. Revolutionary in my ass pajamas. The Rupardi's man. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I had no idea. No, but the soldiers did. They knew we'd be crossing the border here. Hmm. Heck with the promised land. Sure won't be an easy life, judging from the welcome we've gotten. Just let me get a grip on the neck of this general, and I swear I'll ring it till it squeaks. That's good to hear a bit of the old chicken again. Now then, could we know what's next on the program? 
We'll go join the only ones left who will fight for liberty. They're hiding up there. There's the headquarters. I don't like it. It's much too quiet. What's the matter? I don't know. What you and your people don't know, though, is how to go about winning it. We do know how. But if we have any interference from you at all, we'll fail. Right, Chicken? Harold, if you haven't stopped smoking around in years, I'd not waste a spit to help put the fire out. When it's a matter of wrongs being set right, I'm with you. I still don't understand what you're doing. Well, what I told you, setting a trap for soldiers. So you did. But if you ask me, it won't work. Heck, even a blind man can see what that is. Oh, perfect. That's just what I was hoping to hear you say. Harold... On your horse, chicken. If you want to see our brilliant trap in action. Your brilliant trap. Huh. Two, three, four, to the left. March. Huh. Two, three, four. Huh. Two. He's conscious. He's gone crazy. Too much pressure. Three and a half. Hold, hey! No. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> All everything. What goes on? They have killed three guards. Who has? The sword of justice, you flea bitten forces of evil. Come on, I can't wait all day. <laughs> 
thought they could fool me, the great Capitan Garcia. <laughs> See, our brilliant trap works fine. Don't gobble so fast, Eagle. You know darn well it gives you nightmares. And then I have to stay up all night keeping you company. I lonely. I lonely. I lonely give for my name rank. I don't see why you find it so hilarious. You realize a dozen men have expired this way. Please stop. Please stop. I stop. Pity. She loves to show off her beak whenever I put a new notch in it. Off you go. Well, then, are you holding this engineer Hernandez prisoner? What on earth is that black stuff you're feeding to the end, chicken? Dynamite. Dynamite? Shh. Don't let them know what it is. Chicken? Yeah? I believe I can trust you completely, hmm? Trust me? Oh, sure you can, sure. Your friend gives me the impression that all this planning is, is for his goal, not the cause. No, whatever Harold tells someone he'll do, they can consider it done. Anyhow, remember, there's yours truly. You'll keep an eye on him? Honey, I'll be worse than a mother hen. Oh, no, senor. All my hens are going to get constipated. It's possible. But your hens will be the first hens to ever go down in history. If the whole idea doesn't lay an egg, that is. I see. Now, that is what I call a muchacha cha. Uh, a long time, eh, amigo? Hey, too long. Holy, the civilians are not allowed in this area. But I only want to sell these lovely fresh eggs. You can't sell them here. Now move on. What's the matter, Bima? Don't you know you're not supposed to be here? Captain, won't you buy my eggs? They were late this morning. If I was a captain, I would have been too. Come on up here. Only a crackpot like you would ever think of this. No one but you. And only a crackpot like you would ever go along with it. Yeah, well, I think you're out of your head. I think, chicken, where's your religion? Very funny. If we end up having to count these lily buds for support, there ain't no religion going to save us. Why don't we point that cannon, will you? You fired a gun before. Oh, no, senor. Don't worry, though. I know it. We like it. I'd be passionate for guns. I'll tell you something else. You want to tell your age, huh? Well, they look nice and around your age. Uh, 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 I don't want anything to break down. Well, I yeah, want to suspect the virgin eye. Quiet. 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 We want to suspect all the merchandise. Uh, uh, you looked around town, there ain't a soul. Yeah, funny, isn't it? You know why, don't you? No. The soldiers have took away most of the men. I see. You do. They're all up in the hills. Think a minute now. Well, that's where your mind is, up in the hills, Harold. Need a lot of manpower to run that sort of operation. So what are you trying to tell me? About being robbed by a party? Now I want to tell you... To Phil. Look, for the love of Pete, will you stop pointing that dang thing at me? Yes, see, see, I will, for the love of Pete. Captain Garcia was a total imbecile. And the trap was a trap, and Garcia fell right into it. The enemy are using the tactics of Alexander What's-His-Name the Great. Who? Alexander the Great. Yes, of course. Who do you think I said? The tactics of what's his name Strike only to weaken your opponent and then return to attack and strength. Ah, I see, sir. Uh, mm. Sergeant, what's going on out there? Nothing, sir. There's only a girl who wants to know if she can sell so many. This is not a market, sir. I may, sir. I would like to offer you a change from the everyday rations. Would you care for an omelet, Colonel? That sounds good. We'll have omelets for lunch, Sergeant. Carry on. All right, you've had your fun. That's enough. The Colonel will have an omelet for lunch. Oh, please, senor, my eggs. Because they pesos. Huh? You should be ashamed asking for money from those who protect you from the rebels. Get rid of her. Yes, sir. Yeah, you can collect it tonight. Come around to the back. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Those damn rebels are as good as dead, thanks to my plan. A plan worthy of Alexander the... What's his name again? The Great. No, the other one. The Greatest. That's the one. They think they're going to find a flock of rabbits, but instead they're going to find us. That is, they're going to find me. With 60 battle buff and men, plus three machine guns. Now, that's what I call strategy. It certainly How is, would you sir. like your omelette, sir? What? Medium. Well done, soldier. Well done. Cook it till it bursts into flames. Yeah, I could use a touch of salt. What did I tell you? Yep, and seeing this, I'm sure glad you ain't the Easter Bunny. I had to tell you.
tell you not to point that dang thing at me. But you are always standing in front of me. I'm Scott. always in there. Is Hernandez there? Yes, he's here with us. Crazy. Allow me, sir. You say, by the way, does want to know where the mine is? No, she doesn't. Don Firmino's forgotten. What do you care, by the way? Oh, senors, God reward you for your kindness. You reminded me. Viva la libertad. Hernandez? No. Thank you, senors. Why? I'll ask the questions if you don't mind. Is your name Hernandez? Yes. Ah, at last. Right this way. Now then, my dear engineer, yeah, I'd like really it's Councillor Hernandez. You mean you're a lawyer? Yes. Not an engineer? Oh, it's the usual quid pro quo. You're thinking of my brother, Euphemio. It's he that's the engineer. Hmm. Why are you looking for my brother, senor? To set him free, no? He is a loyal patriot too, senor. Oh. Mio Dio, then it is true. That Ubarte is taken in prisoner. A prisoner. Or maybe even, even dead. Tortured to death by the soldier, senor. Your whole basket of eggs wasted. Harold, the only thing you ever built was your bank account. What the dickens you want an engineer for? It our newest model is. Herr Essen, three years has taken to make perfect this gun. It a truly exceptional rate of fire delivers nearly seven deaths per second. The interesting thing is we think excellently. His Imperial Majesty, the Tsar of Russia, six like this board, and them on some local peasants in revolt right. I can he was most truly satisfied. Uh, I'll take them. Here comes Colonel Matidonos. Man the gate. Finally. All right, open up. Excuse us, we'll continue later. Stop. Good heavens. Sergeant, help him get down. You, give him a hand. Blast you to hell, Gringo. He holds me in ridicule, and ridicule is the most powerful weapon there is. There are only a few as of now. But when the people no longer fear us, they will increase by thousands. There's a note, my great president. Shoot him. Huh? Okay. No eggs. I, I can't explain. My plan was perfect. It was the eggs. It was Not a penny. Are they what, great president? Hmm? Uh, this monster demands that I get out of Morelos. If not, he says he'll arouse the populace. Yes, but after all. Colonel Corda, come Yes, in. great president. I want hostages, Colonel. But I don't want just anyone. I want all those who count and who are loved by the people. All those leading citizens who refuse to accept the new order in Morelos. All those who have brains and can use them against me. All those who read books. The priests, the aristocracy, the intellectuals, the professionals. And make sure none of them get away. The people are nothing without them. Without them, the people won't move an inch. Oh! You men scout ahead. Buenos días, señor.
with me. We'll bring out these men. He will have his power. Right now. Oh, Grandma, they've got these men too. Don't be bad. Don't say it. Just to find you, your engineer. When the heck are we gonna lead the revolution? In a spare time or something? All right, John, you get it. Come on. Keep me. Shoot them. I'm just the engineer. That's me. What? There's a lot of you in the family, engineer. Allow me, sir. Certainly. Listen, Harold. Suppose a Bartley is working your mind. Where would he put all that gold? How should I know? It's you that's doing the supposing. Okay, then I'll tell you. He's got it where he can keep his eye on it. Somewhere it's tough to get at the fort. Oh, really? You're not going to tell me you've already thought of it. Why, should I have thought of it? Come on, lay it to me straight. Don't you trust me, Harold? No. I don't care a cow pat about... <laughs> Listen to me now. The general and the gold are in the fort together. So let's take the fort, okay? That way you want to get some Varte, and you'll become rich as Midas, and I'll be able to get back to help Brother Jonah finish the church. And that's all I care about. <laughs> My chicken little. How could I ever have doubted you? My apologies. Uh, yeah, hey! Good to be Come on now. You killed my dog last week. Now you could do his work for him. Come on, walk. <laughs> Caballero, I have important news. Take me to the senorita. Deliver this proclamation to the mayors of all the villages. And tell them we need every able-bodied man and we need all the weapons they can send. Senorita Juana! What is it, Miguel? <laughs> Pleasure to know you, Senorita Mendoza. Like to go for a ride under a basket full of kindling? <laughs> When I drew the design, I was 47. I never dreamed that lovely fortress might someday be used for tyranny. Yeah, architecture like that, you certainly don't find around any longer. Yes, yes, I have. By the way, many... Doctor, uh, I hear that underneath the fort there's a very cleverly conceived network of sewers. Oh, uh, no, no, senor, I should say tunnels is the proper word. Ah, yes, of course, tunnels. And not a network, it's actually more what do you call a labyrinth, is the plan, as well as I can recall, it was all... Uh, very difficult to build. The soil uh, was extremely soft. But I saw. I... Senor, something terrible has happened. They have captured Juana. Who do you think you are? Did you offer me a so-called deal? No, I'm useless to you, General. So you can kill me if you like. But not freedom. That you can never kill. Ideals cannot be hanged. Uh, temper, temper, dear senorita. I'll explain. I've sent a message back to your father. And I'm quite sure that he'll come. His beautiful daughter is his biggest treasure. And to preserve that treasure, he will do anything. With Don Fermino's figurehead, all will calm down. It's simply impossible to go on like this. Unfortunately, we just haven't got enough trees here to be able to hang everyone. There's someone you overlooked, you monster. And his name is Holy Ghost. Hmm. Well, dear Sam, did you hear? Liberty, ideals, how boring these intellectuals are. Totally out of touch with reality. Sam, amigo mio, I marvel at your ingenuity. I've got to confess that your plan was perfection itself. The people 
follow as a mule follows after his owner as long as he's moving. But cut the lead and the mule is sure to stop. Except if it doesn't work, you can start counting your dying days. I have a strong hunch our friend already knows the gold is here in the fort, General. Ah, but it won't be for long. You see, dear Sam, you're not the only one who has ideas. I've been thinking that if we ever had to leave Morelos in a hurry, it would be a pity if we also had to leave the gold. Uh, which is why I've arranged for the services of a certain Cuban, Captain Ortega. His ship is lying now in the port of Veracruz. And it's you who will escort him here, dear Sam. You're not thinking of maybe trying to get me out of the way. It's a chance I'd never get there with all these rebels on the loose. Mm. Why in heaven's name would I murder the goose that lays my golden eggs? Major Alvarado. At your orders, my great president. I want you to leave immediately for Veracruz. You are to escort Mr. Crow there. And Major Alvarado, I beg you, please don't fail in your mission. Your life is at stake. Ow! 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 Oh, dear. Now, woman, just don't treat a man like this. You understand? I don't want monkeys like him around, and you need them. I'll have you know I run a respectable house. Ah, it's still a whorehouse, ain't it? Huh? Ah! ah. Hey! Holy Ghost, honey. Oh. oh, you're making me dizzy. You're here just for me, right? Well, the truth is, I... No, don't say it. What do you need this time? Excuse me. Excuse me. Get out of the damn way, will you? Harold, they're all here and debating already. Well, it's a step ahead. Did you convince them? Howdy there, May. Howdy, chicken. Oh, did you? Yeah, I sure did try to, Harold. But, well, they, they don't want to hear nothing about attacking the fort, no matter how you put it. They think it'd be a massacre. Well, I'll give it a try. No, I'm telling you, you won't have any luck. Don't worry, they'll see the light. Hey, hold me, 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 hold Juan and Don Firmino are in a trap, and you sit around chatting like a bunch of pirates. You know what I say? That this revolution can be won in one way only. The way of all flesh. <laughs> all right, down you get. And don't draw straight too far now. Hey, where'd you get her from? Oh, she's new, named Sally. Before she joined us, she lived away from the circus. <laughs> ah, he's so cute. Hey, ah. there, Molly. Hey, 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 well, that is, it's a pleasure, Sister Molly. Sister? Oh, oh, you forgot your religion there for a second. Well, Molly does that, doesn't she? She sure does do that. That is, recalling her makes me feel remorseful. Well, how do you like that? Out of boy, chicken. All right, girls, that's enough for now. Hey, that's enough, girls. You sure have hey, time. over here, Molly. All right, everybody, line up in twos and march. <laughs> It's the one and only way for us to get into the fort. That I guarantee you. Therefore, allow me to introduce my, um, <clears throat> Trojan whores. Thank you. As you see, I follow orders to the letter. <laughs> that son of a bitch, you Barty. I'm glad I figured him for a rat to start with. What is that, please? Ah, uh, nothing. How long are these fun and games gonna last? It is orders. The president says he owes you much. He says you deserve a noble debt. Have you any last wishes before we proceed? Yeah, one. I'd kind of like to see my brothers again. Impossible. Attention. No rifles. Ready. Aim. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> 
What a piece of revolutionary. What, eh? If I were to hit her, I would not have her shot. I would Captain, take her and... Women approaching the port. Is that... <laughs> what is this, women? Don't you know you are not supposed to drink on duty? I'm not drunk. Look. Hey, you are right. There is a man, too. Peter Pim. Hey, welcome, girl. Welcome. My proud soldiers. Let me present myself. I am Monsieur Fair Lamour. That is, you feed Fair Lamour. Home broker of love. Look and judge for yourselves, my brave boys. Never has such a treasure of charm been gathered for the delight of man. Feast your eyes upon these angels. They have come from the United States just for you, my brave warriors. I'm to dispense to you such delicious and sweet nectars as will send you post haste to cloud nine. What the devil is he saying? He is all surrendered. Hey, what are you waiting for? Come on in! I bet you forgot about this, Papito. Hmm? Now open wide. <laughs> Come, open up, Papito. One, I beg you. Have a little dignity. We're about to be shot. And history is watching. Let's not exaggerate, Don Firmino. Such melodrama. Be a little reasonable, just a little, and I won't have you killed. You are not my prisoner. I consider you a guest. You stinking rotten cow dog, you what? bastard, you... Your manners are atrocious. Ah, the youth of today. They are all hotheads. No sense, no reason. As I was going to say, dear Don Firmino, if you help me to pacify the people, you will render a great service to your country and you will be able to take up the reins of government again. Hmm, you and I together, that is. <laughs> party of ladies has arrived for the recreation of the troops. Hostage? Yes, sir. Uh, Lieutenant, this is a military installation, not a bordello. What's going to happen to discipline? The troops are very restless, my great president. They've been stuck in here for months, and well, they could do with a little distraction. Distraction? Well. Quite right, Colonel. Perhaps the moment has come to distract the men a little. All right, Lieutenant. You have my permission. Now go. Thank you, my great president. Adios. Papa, I'm not so sure I like how he said that. Go on, my boy. Your reward is at hand. Prepare. Prepare your flowers for the temple of Amore. Let's get to work, hombre. Yahoo! Oh, You've got the dirtiest mind. You. Hey, if you ask me, they look off free. Hey, por Dios, what do you want? We are in the middle of a war. Hey, wait a moment. You're sure we haven't met somewhere before? No. No? There's something. What big hands you got. Is he better to hold you in? <clears throat> Come on, are you sure we've never met before? No, no. <gasps> I know. No, what? She reminds me of. She's a spitting image of Uncle Miguel. Oh, he's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I like to fight her. I don't know what it is, but these for me have it all over the others. A certain je ne sais quoi. Uh, well, what do I have? You're not getting it. Uh, you give it to me. Oh, sweetie, I like you. You, you like, like me? me? No, no, no. You can't like me. No, you can't talk to her. She's my wife. You're not for all. Like 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 well, I claim you as a sergeant. I've got right. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, well, that girl there, she gave you side, Janet. She wants you. Why don't you take her? You need a pension? Be Cupid. This pussy putting around driving me crazy. When can we begin? Why, straight away, Cameron Tita. Now make your debut with a bang, darling. Let's see lots of fire, eh? Yeah. Would you hold this for my... I will, I will. Hey, you are no woman. You are a... Well, what would you expect? Lady a diamond? Papa, he's here. I'm sure it's only ghost. What the devil is going on? Where is our great president? Oh, what do you mean? I thought he was up here. Well, go look for him. He could be in great danger. How about it, girls? Get to him with low blows. No, it's good to call that floor. Nine. 
I wonder what's inside. Don't get too nosy. Who goes there? Your great president. Hold your fire. <laughs> Very punctual, Captain Ortega. I'm always punctual, General. And tomorrow at dawn, you'll be sailing on my ship for Hamburg. You and your gold, naturally. Hey, chicken, you keep an eye on things out here. I'm going to go after a bar. Ah, uh, no, uh, I'll go inside and you stay out here. If you insist. And I insist, Harold. Knock, knock. Duffy here. Go out and get some air, boy. Let's see. Fourteen faces north. Two, two, one, two, three, four. Thank you. Pleasure. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Pretty good idea who our practical joker is. Sure. Oh. Could be you don't 
approve of this, Lord. But then you ought to know by now what a son of a bitch I am at heart. This gold was never meant for Ubarte. It's mine. I sweated for it, I lied, I stole and killed for it. So I deserve it, don't you think? And all the more so because I know you, with some good reason, didn't lift a finger to help me get the job done. Samuel, I'd be damned if I didn't just see a white dove. Uh, it's poetic justice, I guess, that now I have to divide the gold with my blood relations, old lord. Jackasses though they all are, especially Brother Bird here. After all, I mean, how often do I have to tell him that that bastard of a holy ghost and his Tweety Bird are still playing a revolution with a general? Sam, he's here! Greetings. Now, Sam, you think I have it in for you because of your taking the gold. Not true, you simply stole it from Bubarte. But no man likes having to go through so much trouble to find his partner. I must admit you're right. Unfortunately, you were voted out by my board of directors. We prefer to keep the company profits in the family. <laughs> well, maybe it's for the best. I confess I'd just as soon not get involved with a family with such impossible eating habits. Insult one of us. You insult us all. It's just lead, Sam. You fooled the general with it, and I fooled you. Ah! Hmm? Yes, you're right, Eagle. What people won't do for an ounce of gold. Me? <laughs> this isn't exactly an ounce, old girl. <laughs> Trap works, have you, chicken? Oh, here. I'll... Oh. Enjoy it. What's this? Stone? It's, it's gold. My God, it's gold. Look how pretty it is. <laughs> Look how gold it is. <laughs> it's a miracle. A miracle. <laughs> I love it again. <laughs> Just the way I used to. <laughs> Never stop loving gold, chicken. It's in your blood. Pete! Where are you going? Now, pull me out of here, you thief. I earned half that gold. You only gave me two bags, damn it. And you and your stinking pigeon. If I ever get a hold of you, I'll pluck both your tail feathers. Don't waste the sweat, chicken. It'll take you a long time and a lot of money to catch up with me. <laughs> Harold, come back here. Holy Ghost, there's nothing holy about you. You get yours on Judgment Day, you carpetbagger, you revolution exploiter, you capitalistic imperialist, you ugly American. Don't leave me here, I just 